guys, it's Shani, and I'm back today with another plan with me. And for this week's spread, I decided to use this kit from my shop, and this one was called Fairy Tale. I think this was the first kit that I released this um, like bow design, um, like for the bottom washi. That's why I was, I was like touching it. I was like, ooh, <laughs> um, and I've been like loving it so much that I've included it in almost every kit since. Not every single one. There have been um, a couple that don't have it. But yeah, I just think it looks so good and like if you do decide that you want to like bring in your own like Simply Gilded washi because it's like foiled or whatever, then it makes like it so much easier just because it's already trimmed for you and you don't have to like go through the process of like cutting it in half. And if you don't, you have this like awesome like bow washi, which is what I've been doing because I love them so much um, that I totally do understand if people want like foil down there, that's up to you. So I whited out the bottom section there with like this big whiteout that I've been using. Um, I just, yeah, I don't know. I still have some Tombow ones left that I'll be um, using up. I just had this one on my desk, so um, I wanted to finish it, and I think it's already done. Um, yeah, I'm not too loyal to the Tombow one because like it does yellow quite a bit, and I don't love that. Um, so yeah, but anyways, I put down the bottom washi and then I whited out the dates as well as the flags. Um, the flags were like a marble pattern, so I definitely wanted to white out the blue background because otherwise you would have been um, able to see it a lot. I should also mention that this uh, is a week in November. I get questions about um, that all the time, like, oh, you're putting your dates down wrong. And no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just, it's just a different week. It's not for the previous week. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to catch up so I can show you guys my Christmas spreads because I've already filmed a couple. I just haven't posted any of them. Um, like when I was at school, my laptop was with me like every day, so I was able to upload there. Um, but uploading like 20 minute videos at home is actually like crazy. It probably takes like 10 hours, like I'm not even exaggerating. Um, so I might try to do it overnight or like run into Starbucks. I just honestly haven't really had a chance to. So that's why this plan with me is so late. This was supposed to go up a last Sunday and clearly it didn't. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I put down the marble flags as well as the date dots and the date covers and then I moved on to doing the full boxes. I was having a hard time deciding um, where I wanted like which full box. As you can tell, I was using like the coil um, to kind of help me out a little bit to hold them while I make up my mind. I think these full boxes are so stunning. The art is just honestly like amazing. I love like anything like woodsy and like fairy tale like I don't know I just think it's so freaking pretty and yeah I, I love this kit so much like <laughs> I honestly already want to use it again um of course I won't right now but <laughs> uh yeah I, I am really happy with how everything came out and then um I did do something a little bit different where normally I line up my full boxes at the bottom of every single box but I actually didn't do that this week um I put the um, glitter headers along the top as well as my full boxes along the bottom uh, and as you can tell there's a little bit less room between the full boxes as well as like the next box on top of it. I don't know if I'm explaining this very well like pretty much I didn't layer my glitter header on top of the full box like I normally do. I normally layer it like a couple millimeters um, just so that you know I have that bit of white space haven't decided which way I prefer. The thing that's really nice about this is you don't actually cover any of the full box. Um, you also are able to use like foil overlays if you decide because um, if you do it the way that I normally do where you do cover up like a bit of the full box, the foil overlays either don't look right or you have to put them on before you put on your header. Otherwise they go into your header and I don't really love the look of that. So yeah, I'm kind of just trying to see which way I prefer. I've been playing around with like both methods um, the last couple weeks, so we shall see um, what my 2019 method is because right now like I've been doing some pre-planning there and yeah. The only full boxes that do get covered up a bit is the ones I'm working on right now. So as you can see, the two that are in the like top row, so Tuesday and Thursday in this spread, um, they do get covered up just like a pinch, but it is less than normal. Um, and yeah, that's totally fine. So we shall see how it ends up going. Um, I did also scatter my glitter headers around and I whited out some of the dotted lines where like the full boxes go on top of them so I'm pretty sure it's just the top row where the full box goes into like the um, dotted section but 
Uh, yeah, so there was that. And then once I finished that, I moved on to the sidebar. I already had my full box there with the girl reading. She's so pretty. Love that art again. <laughs> Um, then I used a This Week header as well as a weekly box to mark down Instagram posts. Um, I also used a To Do header and this blue ombre heart checklist. Oh, there's my robe. I think I was checking if you guys are in frame. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you guys have been watching my Insta Vlogmas, which if you haven't, definitely do it. <laughs> um, check out my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, you know, like shameless plug. But um yeah, I just keep wearing this robe because it's so warm and cozy and like all winter all I want to do is be warm and cozy. So there's that. Um, but I finished off my sidebar with a goals header, a habit tracker, as well as a little label at the bottom. And then I moved on to Monday. I put down the Coffee Monday sticker from the kit and then I used a quarter box as well as this package sticker and I'm actually moving it to the last third of the day um, because I wanted to put in some other things in the first third. Um, and then I'm moving on and realized that I didn't put down my weekend banner and I do usually try to do that towards the beginning um, like while I'm laying down my base because sometimes I forget to do it otherwise so I wanted to make sure to do that. And then I'm grabbing this half box at the top of Friday. This was Black Friday week, so that's what I was marking there. I also grabbed this little shopping bag from the kit um, to mark that down. And it was obviously a big day. One, because I did a ton of sh a shopping. And then two, I had like a big sale that weekend. So there's that. And then I'm grabbing the payday sticker and a washi strip sticker behind it. I'm putting that on Tuesday since that's always Etsy payday. I think I'm just worried. I think I was like planning this um, before the week started or maybe it was just Monday. I think it was actually Monday when I was filming this or it was somewhere like at the beginning of the week where I wasn't too sure about um, like everything that was happening later on. That's why I kind of put bigger things like Black Friday that I knew obviously like couldn't really change. <laughs> Um, but I think I already knew that Monday, like, I think Monday had already happened because I knew that like there was like the package that arrived. So there's that. Um, I also put down a label as well as this work foiled script that's from my shop. I also grabbed a laptop sticker that came from the kit to mark down that I had a plan with me go up. And then at the bottom of Monday, I put down this little heart icon, like the circle icon. Um, that's also from the kit to write down that my uh, boyfriend and I were hanging out. And then I went ahead and was filling everything out. I tried to speed this up a lot more than I do like when I'm actually placing stickers down because um, I know it's like not nearly as interesting as me putting stickers down. It's me just like writing stuff and especially like the sidebar I feel like isn't very interesting. Um, I don't know if you guys care to see like what I have to do. I also put down a heart at the bottom of the um, sidebar there since that was I was writing like social media stats there. So I put a little heart beside it. I was also participating in a loop giveaway on Monday or like it started on Monday. So I used this Instagram floral icon um, from my shop and those are in the last chance section. So if you guys are interested, I would totally go grab them. Um, yeah. And then Tuesday, I already had payday down. I grabbed this pizza eating Ava since I grabbed some pizza for lunch. Um, I also put down this tea sticker since I went to Tim Hortons with my boyfriend. And then, um, I initially put down this, uh, label, but I ended up switching it for a quarter box. Um, and I wanted to use this like deco sticker, um, that was from like the mini deco sheet, um, I had to work on a lab, like pretty much write it. And so that's why I thought that was pretty perfect since, since there was, whoa, I just stuttered, <laughs> since there was like a quill and ink. And then I had, or no, I placed an order at Abercrombie and Fitch. So I used the little arrows to mark that down. And then I had to um, pick up some medicine from the pharmacy. Uh, my mom's actually a pharmacist. I don't know if I've told you guys that, but um, yeah, I had to go pick up some stuff from her work. Uh, since I needed it that morning and so I had to go do that before going to class and then I think I end up I'm not sure when but I end up adding a little piece of washi behind the um, Ava girl because I don't know I just wanted a little bit more pink in that section so yeah there I think I'm like lifting her up and I just grabbed like the skinniest piece of washi that the kit had and I'm layering her like on top and I think that looks really cute just adds a bit more of that pink in that section I also wanted to use this like floral uh, like piece 
and I put that in the sidebar just to get rid of that little section that's always awkward and white. <laughs> I think I've mentioned this before, but like that little section between the flag, the November, the full box, and the date cover I think always looks a little bit weird. But um, the giveaway that I was in that started on Monday ended on Wednesday and I wanted to mark that down because I had to take down the post. Um, and so I just used an alarm clock icon and put that on top of um, a quarter box and I wrote that the giveaway ended. I also had to make a phone call. Um, I think I have mentioned before, but I'm, my friends and I are going for high tea for my birthday in a couple weeks. And so I was making like a bunch of calls um, to like see where I want to go since my birthday is on Boxing Day. Um, a lot of the places were closed, so it was kind of frustrating. So I ended up deciding to do it not on my birthday and like a few days later. Um, but yeah, I called like a million places that day. So I used uh, the phone icon from the kit as well as a label from the kit. Um, I also put down a money bag to write that I place an order with dynamite and I've also mentioned this on my Instagram story which that took like three weeks to get to me which was super crazy. Don't know what happened there. And then I was editing a video so I used a flag with those arrows um, just to mark that down. I thought that's like a pretty um, generic way to mark anything down. And then um, I wanted to mark down that I was prepping for Black Friday so like printing and cutting stickers. Um, freebies and so on so I used a half box as well as this Ava on her laptop and then I also <laughs> I couldn't decide like how I wanted to put her in the half box a little further a little higher um, I also ended up putting some marble washi behind that since it was like a little like too much sprue um, like more than I normally like to leave of white space so I thought the marble kind of helped um, take that up and that was pretty much it for this first half of the week. So moving on to the second half, we've already got our Black Friday stuff on Friday, but I grabbed another full or sorry, half box there. And I ended up wanting to use some of this like um, deco. And then I decided that I didn't really like how that looked. So I grabbed a different half box, I think because this one was like a solid color and it had those like dots around. Um, I think the dots kind of stuck stood out a lot so I ended up just grabbing this marbled one and I thought that was so cute it's like a banner of books and I was doing some schoolwork so I thought that was like such a perfect way to market um, and I, I don't know I just think it looks really cute and festive and what I was working on was like a big lab report so it did take up a lot of time so I used a half box for that and then I grabbed some lunch with my boyfriend during my break so I wanted to mark down that we got some pita pit um, I used a hexagon sticker and layered on top of it a meal icon. And then I'm grabbing another half box, the one that I originally wanted to use, and I put that at the bottom of the day, and that was just to mark down that Regina and I were doing some midnight shopping. We were, like, waiting on one another <laughs> to do the shopping and, like, place some orders together as well, so I thought that was really cute. Um, I ended up grabbing a like deco sticker that had some like florals on it as well as a shopping cart sticker for that and then I grabbed an envelope sticker that came with an old kit of mine um, and I wrote that my giving girl advent calendar had come in that day and I couldn't help it and I opened the entire thing <laughs> so I really wanted to mark that down and it's really really cute. And then Friday in the evening, I was hanging out with Yanni, so I used a TV icon for that. And then on top of it, I'm putting down this label since I got so much stuff in the mail, so I just wrote so much mail beside that. I also did end up using like an envelope sticker um, on top of it, and this label was giving me so much trouble. I don't know why I kept having to like move things around. Um, I like couldn't pick things up, couldn't get it, like I don't know, it just, it wasn't cooperating with me. Um, but then I ended up grabbing my X-Acto knife, which those are available in my shop if you guys are interested. It comes in three different colors. Um, and yeah, I wanted to use this little flag as well. And um, I wanted to mark like my plane with me with it. And then I realized that all the icons are going to be like on the same side kind of. And especially since the um, laptop and the envelope were the same color. I really wanted to put it on the other side, but yeah, like, look at this giving me so much freaking trouble. I don't know why. Um, like, I don't think I've ever struggled to, like, pick up stickers, especially when I use, like, my paper. But, yeah, this was, like, not having it. Um, but then I ended up moving everything, and I really like how it turned out, so it was really cute. 
Um, I had an A6 plan with me, or I think it was actually a personal plan with me, but whatever, I knew what I meant. Um, and I think that went up that day, so I wanted to mark that down. I also had a lab due this day, so um, I grabbed a quarter box as well as these glasses stickers to write down that I had to submit that. Um, I can't remember if I had to just submit like a hard copy or like a digital file. Um, I'm not too sure. I think it was like a hard copy, but I can't remember. <laughs> this was like so long ago now. Three weeks is too long for me to remember. And then at the bottom of Saturday, we went out for my friend's birthday. I know it's kind of out of frame right now, but you will see it in like just a moment. Um, so I grabbed a squared off half box for that. I love how that one looks. And uh, we first ended up going for dinner. So I used the balloons uh, to mark that down. And then we went to a bar afterwards. So that's what the half box was for. And I used the circle icon of the um, like clinking glasses. Uh, before I went to the birthday, I also had to go make some returns at the mall, so I used a shopping Ava to mark that down. And then, I don't think this actually happened on Saturday, but I can't really remember when it really happened, like maybe like a day or two earlier. So this is a total planner lie, but I really wanted to get it in my planner. Um, I purchased my plancation tickets. I'm not sure if the party is actually called plancation this year, but I like the way it sounds, so that's what I ended up putting in. And I used a label as well as a like Ava holding her planner to mark that down. And then on Sunday, I was pretty much working on orders all day um, since I had to like try to get out as many Black Friday orders as I could. And so I just used another one of the squared off half boxes. I put on um, some of the deco stickers, like that um, cup was a deco sticker as well as that little floral piece. And then I also grabbed um, a flag and layered a TV icon on top of that just so that it takes up a bit more room and has like a bit more color variation. I thought that was cute. I also wanted to put this little deco sticker in the sidebar um, since there was a little bit of room there. So I thought that looked cute too. Um, and then... Uh, I, ha I placed an order with S SPC. I think that's when I got the uh, pull kits. Um, I did end up selling those, but um, I did place them. <laughs> I did place that order. And then I also wanted to mark down that there was one month left until Christmas since it was the 25th. So I just used some more of the deco stickers um, to mark that down. And I think that was pretty much it. I did end up scattering a bit more of like the dots and the deco stickers. There are a bunch of these like tiny little like golden, I don't know, like specks. And I just thought it would look really cute and like magical <laughs> um, all throughout uh, the spread. So I think that actually ended up looking really cute. Um, there were a lot of them and they did take forever to cut, but I think it was worth it since it just adds like a bit of cuteness and takes up a bit of the white space. But I do hope you guys liked this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!